everyone and welcome to our first Cornerstone Assembly for 2022. Wow. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year and we're so excited for you to be with us today. Yeah, we hope you had a brilliant time in the school holidays and that you're ready for our next assembly. But you know, now we're in the new year and Christmas is over, it's time to look ahead to our next celebration. And that is, because this week it is Matthew's birthday. <coughs> Can you believe it? I know, he's so excited about it. He won't stop talking about it. He loves his birthday so much, which is weird because he's had so many birthdays already. And yeah, I love birthdays. I love the cake. I love the presents. But most importantly, I love the party. Oh yeah, parties mm. are so much fun, aren't they? And you know, today's story is all about a party. But before we get into our story, we've got a challenge for you. So, as you can see on the screen, you may spot some things that you might see at a party and some things you might not. But it's your challenge to remember as many as you can. And throughout the story, you may see some here and there. And it's your challenge to spot as many as you can. And at the end, we'll count to see how many you were able to spot. Okay, brilliant. So let's show you again so you've got some time to memorise it. We'll give you a few seconds. Have a little look. See how many you can remember. Okay, well, I hope you're ready because now it's time for our story. And Jesus told this story to show us what God is like. And this story is about a king who threw a massive party and invited all of his friends. And when the day came for the party, he'd spent all day preparing it, getting everything ready, making sure it was perfect for all his guests to have the most fun. And he sent his servants to tell his friends that the party was ready and it was time to come. But when the servants started telling all the guests that were invited that the party was ready, they all started coming up with excuses. So one guest said, I've just bought a new field and I've got to go and look at it, so I'm not going to be able to come. Oh, and then the servant went to the next guest and knocked on his door and said, the party's ready, the king is expecting you. But he said, oh, I just bought some new oxen to go in my field. I think I better go and try them out. So I can't come to the party, sorry. Oh no, and the servant was really disappointed. I didn't know what to do. He thought if the king found out that no one was going to the party, he would be really upset. So he tried again. He went to see more guests to see what, if they were able to come. And when he knocked on the next door, they said, I'm so sorry, I've just got married, so I'm not gonna be able to come. So when the servant went back to the king and told him that nobody was coming to the party, the king was so angry. He couldn't believe that he put on this amazing party and no one was coming. So he said to the servant, go out into the town and into the streets and whoever you find there, you invite them to the party. Anybody, whether they're poor, whether they're blind or they can't walk, whoever they are, just invite them to the party. So the servant went out onto the streets and he started handing out invites to everyone he met and everyone was so excited and they all went to the party. But there was still loads of room. So the servant went back to the king and said, look, I've invited everybody and everyone from the town has come, but there's still space. So the king said to the servant, this time, go even further than you went before. Go to the alleyways and the country lanes and really to the outskirts of town and anybody you find there, invite them too. And so that's what he did. He invited all these different people and soon the party was full with so many different kinds of people and they all had an amazing time. Oh wow, that sounds like a fun party. I wish I was there. And Jesus tells us the story because he wants us to know that God is inviting us into a friendship with him. God wants to be our friend. And just like the people in the story, the people that are invited, they can choose. That's right, because everybody's invited. God loves everybody so much. He loves you and he really cares about you. But the wrong things we do in our lives, they get in the way of the, us being friends with God. And that's why God sent Jesus. And when Jesus came to earth and died on the cross at Easter time and rose again three days later, he did that so that all the wrong things that we've done can be forgiven. So if we say sorry to God, he always forgives us and he always says yes, and we can choose to be God's friend today. So we're gonna pray now and thank God for this amazing love that he has and to ask him to help us with what we're doing in school today. And then we'll be checking to see if you remembered all the party items from the story. So if you want to, we're gonna put our hands together, close our eyes and you can say amen at the end. Lovely. So yeah, Jesus, thank you that you love us so much and that you want to be our friend. I pray that you help us to make new friends and be a good friend too. 
and help us in all of our schoolwork that we're going to be doing today. Amen. Amen. Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and you were keeping your eye out for all the party items. Let's see how many you've got. So we're going to put them up on the screen now and let's have a look. Did you get them all? Were there any that you missed and that you Ooh. forgot? Oh, well done. Some of them were a bit tricky, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Well, well done if you got them all. That was brilliant. It's been great to be with you for another assembly. We're really glad you could join us. Lovely, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.